Hi everyone, welcome back to the Best of You See for 2019. Can't believe we're practically well, we are we're in 2020 now and I just I can't believe like I literally remember filming this video this time last year except that I was in a different room and crazy but today we've got quite a lot of products and what I've done throughout the year, the beginning of the year, I started to make a list because I knew I didn't want to just get to the end of the year and have to panic about all different products. So I've got about 25 products here that are just products that have really stood out for me. And I've just had a quick look at my old video from last year. And there was about three or four products that I was going to mention in this. And I've had to take out because I'm like, I don't think I should mention them again. But I've just loved them. I might mention them, I'll see. But there's, I think there's two products that I definitely will mention because I've still loved them. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So I think we'll just begin with cleansers and then just work our way through our face. <laughs> so I've got three cleansers. One was definitely featured in last year, but I'm literally obsessed with it. But the first one is from East Bar. This is the Optimal Pro, Pro Optimal Skill Pro Cleanser. You can see I've practically used every bit of it. Now I won't go into too much detail about the products because these will have all been featured at some point on in on my channel. So I'll just basically tell you like the brands etc but this was sent to me at the beginning of the year and i absolutely love it it's got like little grains in it but such a fabulous cleanser next up is from the ordinary and it's the first ever cleanser that they launched this year and this was the squalene cleanser looks like this this is just the bigger one and this is the smaller one i absolutely love it as you can tell again i've used gone through so many of them i just love it for removing makeup as well i just think it's such an easy way to get your makeup off and super affordable as well so cleanser my ordinary cleanser and then obviously i could not mention the elements i've literally gone through about 10 bottles of this 10 tubs i'm just i'm so obsessed it's the only cleanser i use i used to use emma hardy but it's just it's gone a bit too expensive now but literally pro collagen cleansing balm is my ride or die so i absolutely love that this year well i think i've gone through all four of them this year Toners, only one toner stood out for me. It was Ul Henriksen's Dark Spot Glow 208 Dark Spot Toner. I seen such a huge difference. You might have mentioned it. I mentioned earlier on in the year. I was watching Jamie Genevieve and she mentioned she'd used this and she'd seen such a difference. And I really did. I noticed the texture on my skin changed and I've literally ran out of it now. So I do need to repurchase a new one, but I really did love this from Ul Henriksen. Gorgeous glycolic toner and it's got like a little lemony zest to it as well, like the smell of it. It reminds me of when I used to go to the gym. <sighs> used. I've been in the gym for a while. But yeah, I used to do this every morning. Love it. Next up, we'll, go, we'll do mists. Now, I know, I think I probably will did mention this Vichy mist last year, but again, I just love it. £7, best £7 ever spent. I just love it. It's just a shape mist and you just mist it all over your face. It's lovely. Another mist was from Neogen. This was from Selfridges. It looks like this. Again, another gorgeous mist. I think I'm. These will have all at some point been featured in my favourites, but I really do love this. Oh, ignore me here too. So I've got a bit of hair sticking out here. So I have my extensions sewn in, and the girl who sewed them in sewed them in too tight, and it literally snapped me hair. So this little bit of fluff here is my hair growing back. So just excuse that. Let's go on to moisturisers. So, quite a lot of moisturisers actually. About five or six moisturisers really stood out for me. The first one has got to be Youthquake from Marc Jacobs. This is just a miniature size. I've literally nothing left in it. This was a key product for 2019 for me, Marc Jacobs Youthquake. It's the most gorgeous moisturiser and still to this day it is such a gorgeous moisturiser. I really do love it. It's so lightweight. I can't even smell it anymore because there's not in it. But I really honestly love it. I just I love how lightweight it is on the skin. I was literally I was literally telling everyone, I was like, you need to try it, you need to get it. So Mark Jacobs Youth Quake was a winner. Now, a few weeks back I was cleaning my room out and binned a few products that I was supposed to mention. So I will mention them, but I'll also leave links to them. And if I do miss anything out, I will put everything in the description box as well. But along the lines of my Clarins range was the Sleep Spa Mask. And it was part of the Caroline Hyland range and it's the blue one. I just want to show you this bottle anyway, the tub, because this is what it looks like, the range. But I got the Reboost, um, Recharged it's called, and it's just the, it's the teal lid. Absolutely gorgeous, perfect for oven evening. I literally 
that was the only cream I was using the other night and it was just so gorgeous on my skin, you know, when you really love how your skin looks and it, I loved how it was so easy. I just put it on, obviously cleansed and everything and it, it really was such a gorgeous product. So I do like this, but my favourite for the year was the sleep recharge sleep mask and I say it's the teal lid gorgeous and great for all skin types as well well all ages if you are a younger or maybe if you're mature all gorgeous anyway then one of my recent favorites is from touch and salt and this is pretty filter I got this for my birthday in October and just loved it and then they kindly sent me one out which was I was so happy with but you can see it's literally empty i've got me i've got a new one which i've already opened and started using but this is just it's actually a korean brand and i've it is the most lightweight gel i've ever ever seen and that's why i love i just i don't love moisturizers that are thick at all i love lightweight gels that just sit on the skin and just work wonders and i really do love this just just keeps me nice and hydrated as well so from touch and soul let's mention so this was from alex Steiner's range in primark which was this last year or i can't even remember what, the, what year this was from anyway i'll mention it anyway i can't remember if it was she brought out this year or last it's all about um and it's the sleep spot and it's just a gorgeous product again i used it the other day actually on my instagram looks like that and it just like literally absorb straight into my skin perfect again for other evening or whatever it may be cleanse your skin tone and then you can put this on if you want to be just like a three simple step routine it was just so handy i loved it i've even lost the lid that's how much i've loved it i look like a baseball player in this jacket oh well um let's talk a few more moisturizers we've got oh this was gorgeous this really was gorgeous i still love it i just don't like to use that much because we've only got a little bit left and i never got enough for christmas but it is peter thomas roth and it's the water drench it's divine let me see water drench highlighter on a cloud cream absolutely gorgeous i love it it was the most lightweight gel that's also says about all these moisturizers but that's what i look for in a moisturizer it is a lightweight gel i don't want nothing that's going to clog my skin i just don't like that at all but yeah that then this was quite an expensive product. This is a serum, but it was like a hydrator serum, what I used to use. I still don't use it as much because it's ridiculously expensive. But it's from DCL. And it is the 3-in-1 hydrate, I'm sorry, Hydro Beauty Fitness and Serum, three forms of hyaluronic acid, clinically, clinically proven. Like, it's gorgeous, but it's, it's about £98. It's expensive. So hence why I've still got loads left. But yeah, I really do love that. Gorgeous. And uh, next up, I can't remember if I mentioned this last year either or not because I think that I have had this longer than a year. This is from Sarah Chapman. This is the overnight facial, and it was the little minis. These are always in selfages. Oh, I literally, oh my god, there's still some left. <laughs> and it was literally just you put it onto your skin, tap it in. I'm gonna put this on tonight because it was just, and it, it's even got like that Sarah's Sarah Chapman smell to it as well gorgeous product again for a night time and you could just go to bed with that on or you could layer up products as well if you wanted to but i you always used to get the minis just think the minis were just so cute can't remember if i mentioned it last year but it was definitely a favorite these are all products what i've religiously used this year and like absolutely loved and i have loved that okay let's go on to body lotion so it's got to be victoria's secret again this was also featured in the empties the smell oh I have never smelt nothing like that. It's coconut passion. I need to get new ones. Like, it's just... It's unreal. And similar along the lines of this, actually, which is from Touch and Sol. Again, similar. This is from Coco AM. This is from Touch and Sol. It's their bum bum cream. Oh, my good Lord. I've still got loads left because I'm scared to use it. Does anyone else do that? Just... Get that get products not really used them because you're scared to. But that's like a similar smell to like Victoria's Secret. I just I love a body cream. I love nothing more when you've got out the shower, you've cleaned your set your skin, you're feeling good, you've exfoliated, and then you put some nice body lotion on. There is no better feeling. So I am so glad I got these. I need to repurchase that one definitely. Ah, masks. So we'll do like treatments and masks. So it's gotta be. 
the first ever mask from the ordinary which was the salicylic mask and it's like a clay mask oh my god so basically this was a clay mask and it honestly it was the only clay mask i'd use where it, it didn't dry my skin out straight away like most clay masks i have they just literally draw everything out of your skin this is really gentle so affordable as well and i think it's actually won awards as well but this came out this came out in the summer i think and i've really loved it you might have seen it on my instagram a few times i've posted you using it but it's great for salicylic acid it's great for like blemishes or acne prone skin it'll help with like getting rid of just basically any spots or blemishes so i'd really do like that i don't always use it i've got to be completely honest but i do when like every now and again i will use it just like especially now just after christmas when i've broke out i'll use it because my skin's not the best at the minute anyway then we've got retinol rephrase from indeed labs i think i mentioned this last year um again another retinol products i haven't really mentioned many retinol products but this is the only one that i really tend to i really tend to reach for for 2019 and it was just it's just a nice product you just let me put it on this hand so it comes out quite a yellowy color and then i will put this on last at night i wouldn't bother layering stuff over it because it is a retinol you saw so i want this to be your key ingredient your main active and just to get everything going in your skin so you could cleanse tone exfoliate whatever it may be but then you can go in with this last and it just it's just a gorgeous treatment for overnight you wouldn't use this every night you could i would recommend twice a week maybe something like that maybe three times depends on how sensitive you are but it's not something you would use every night well i don't anyway then coming on to spf this was the only spf i really really liked throughout 2019 and it's from la roche per se and it's the Antelios and it is the 50 plus and it's the ultra cream and the reason I loved it the most was purely for the fact it didn't sting my eyes it was the only the one the only one SPF that when I put it on this is how I do the test I put SPF on and I rub it around my eyes I know that sounds crazy but that's where I get my indication from whether it's going to sting or not I tried the Clarins the Clarins SPF they knew us one out and within 10 minutes of walking out the shop my eyes were streaming and I was just like I don't literally put it around me put it in my eyes but I put it around as if I was was going to do that on an on like a sunny day or whatever it may be and it just didn't work for me straight away my eyes were streaming and then I'm rubbing and it's just a hot mess but this is the only one SPF that doesn't sting my eyes and the one that I really do love so and I think, I genuinely think I've found the SPF now that I'm going to wear. I don't really like, I don't mind testing out SPFs, but they sting my eyes a lot. So this, I know, is a ride or die and I'll always keep using this. So I've still got loads left and I'll obviously be purchased more for in the summer too. But that was me only and best SPF for 2019. And then my Skin Assist tool. This was, I was like blown away. If you remember, I put it on Instagram. I've done this for like, I won't do it now because I've got makeup on. I've done this, it's basically just does all your lymphatic drainage. I put this on my Instagram. i done it for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, no joke. The following days afterwards, I had a major breakout and I was like, what on earth is going on? It turns out it was this. Obviously, because of all like, this is the idea of it. It's to get the lymphatic drainage going in your skin, get everything plumper, and it can bring toxins out. So if you've got this and it's brought you out in spot, don't panic like that is the whole idea of it the whole idea is to get your face going massage and going everything going in your skin and it'll just like tighten all around here i'll be honest i haven't used it as much but honestly i really did love this product and i still do i just do this overnight do it all around here you do get a little bit hot because obviously it's quite tight and it's like needling all around your skin and then you can go in upwards motions they've even got a body one but I was so blown away by it. You can even turn it round and like tap under your eye area. But I really did love this. And to the point where so many people were messaging me saying, what is it? Where can I get it? You can get it in Beauty Bazaar, but it is actually Sarah Chapman's Skin Assist Tool. Which is the facial lift, it's called. And it's just a gorgeous product. Again, from Beauty Bazaar. Now, let's go on to tan. So, the first one I've got to mention was this one with St. Moritz actually kindly sent, sent me. I was actually in Home of Bargain months and months back. Seen this tan, tried it, loved it, and they sent me so many of them. So I was like, thank you so much. So as I mentioned a while back, I'm a more of a gradual tan person. I don't really like 
actual false tan because it goes although i've got false tan now it just goes too streaky on me i don't like it but this tan was such a gorgeous tan for in the summer and it's just a gradual developed tanning lotion really affordable as well i think it looked 3.99 gorgeous tan but it just it doesn't leave your skin like streaky it was just that gorgeous holiday glow that everyone wants and i'm so glad i found it as i say it's about three or four pounds and they kindly sent me a few so this was definitely the best gradual tan i gradual tan i tried in 2019 loved it and then off the back of that i was in super dug months back and seeing this little mini tan remover from saint Moritz, and i was like saint Moritz, sorry and i was like oh my god i need to try this tried it blown away and then they sent me the bigger version which i'm going to use tonight actually because i've still got time from from new year that needs to be gone basically but yeah so so happy like this this was a game changer for me i'd never tried a tan remover i'd heard about them never tried them this really did work for me i found though when you do put it on it does tingle slightly i don't know why but this really was a game changer and it literally lifts your tan up and if you're anyone like me and you want the tan off as soon as it starts going scaly hate it i would rather be completely pale than have the scaliness i just can't deal with it so if you're anyone like me and you need the scaliness off get this this was about four pounds and i got the smaller size to try it just to see and then they sent me the bigger one so thank you so much the same it is i you've literally saved my life this year with tan love them and then last up again is tan as well these are this is face tans and the first one is my ultimate favorite tan for me face it's gorgeous it's nourishing it's not and that's gonna clog your skin i do not like tan that like i wouldn't put that on my face like it just wouldn't happen i like products that i've got a hyaluron has to do and all that that benefit the actual skin because your skin on your face is different to the face the skin on your body so i don't like to put like mousse tan on my face because it just does not look good so this is from james reed and this is their sleep mask tan in the dark and i like to just put this on and it honestly it leaves my skin gorgeous that's only the way i can describe it and then i will go over it with utan now utan i did mention last year so i didn't think it'd be fair to mention it again but i can't i've, I've used it all year round i've absolutely loved it but this is the this is the combination i use i put this on let it all soak in and then mist over with this and then i'll get a fan and just miss me face but these look this is the two whenever I've, whenever i've got tan on it's on my face it's these two these are the two products I absolutely love. And lastly, I, did, I weren't going to mention them, but I thought I've got it. I did mention them last year, Garnier's face mask, but I've, I can't deny it. I have still been loving them over, like, last year, especially the eye masks. But I did just want to mention them just because I still do love them. They're really affordable as well, but I, was, I didn't know whether I should mention them. But you know what? I've got to be true to myself. I've literally loved them all year round. But yeah, that was it for 2019. I can't believe it. In 2020, I've already made me list. Well, I haven't made it, but I've got it all ready to start for when I'm collecting products for 2020. But I hope you've all enjoyed it. Let me know if you've had any like key products that have really stood out for you, where you've thought, oh my God, Steph, you need to try it. Whatever it may be, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you all think as well. So if you've got any key products or you think I need to try, let me know. But hope you've all enjoyed this video. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!